What's up, people? It's your boy, Slat. Um, I'm going to talk about um, Harvey Weinstein for a little bit. We all know Harvey Weinstein, um, um, the producer dude um, who was allegedly harassing women on the low for many, many years. And his, his business got exposed a few weeks ago. And uh, his life's been going upside down since. His wife left him. His, um, um, he got kicked out of his own company. So the thing that I want to talk about is this. So he basically went down, right? His image is destroyed. People are mocking him. And um, the thing that's really interesting to me is that you had these females out here who are so quick to throw him under the bus. Every female's talking about how they took him down or how he tried to, how he tried to sexually persuade them and shit. And it's ridiculous. The whole thing's ridiculous to me. Let me tell you why. I'm, I don't defend his actions, but I question the motive behind it. You know this chick, right? Rose McGowan. Um, I think she was one of the first ones to expose him. I think a few weeks ago. That's how this whole thing entered the mass media. I think she exposed him for his sexual advanced nature, right? And the thing that's really interesting is that she was on this social justice um, campaign of throwing this guy under the bus. He's a this, he's that. But the news has broken, have been revealed that her, that Harvey Weinstein um, offered her a million dollars to keep her mouth shut, right? And she said no, that she wants six million. So this, so this is the part that's really interesting, people. So she was offered hush money. And if you're, if you're offered hush money, it usually means non-disclosure, right? But she wanted six million. Hoping to get, hoping to get three million dollars out of the deal. Right? But at the last minute, they said Rose, they said McGowan's lawyer pulled the plug on the counter offer. Um, to what it says here on TMZ, the ultimate Rose told her lawyer to pull the plug on the counter offer w within the day of the article being published because she says she thought, ill, gross, you're disgusting, I don't want your money. That would make me feel disgusting. <laughs> These people, man. I mean, do you, do you guys understand why I don't like females in this country no more? Do you not do you not understand why I despise females? Because before this story broke, right? You you thought Harvey Weinstein was a scumbag, he's a piece of shit. But yet here's a woman who is on this who's on the social campaign of trying to to destroy this guy. Try to get six million dollars out of him. You see, this is the problem when this, this is why you, this is why all you Captain Saber hoes look so stupid. All these idiots in the media, especially all you men out there who are bad mouthing um, Harvey Weinstein, you're, you were campaigning for a woman who started, the, who started the campaign in the media. She tried to get money out of this guy. She didn't do it because she didn't expose him because it was based on ethics. She didn't expose him because it was the right thing to do. No, she had her own hidden agenda. That's all it was. That's all it was. Now that's why I say you, you, you guys out here need to be more patient on who you surround yourself with or who you, or who you defend. When it comes to American females, I don't trust Anything they say, I don't believe them because they are they are they are manipulators. 
Harvey Weinstein is a scumbag. I'm not going to defend his, his actions. But let me just say this. Tell me if I'm lying, right? Just tell me if I'm lying about this statement, right? The only reason why people, or I can say many women were upset with Harvey Weinstein, you know why they were upset with him? They were upset with him because he is not attractive. If Harvey Weinstein was very attractive and he, and he made these advances, even if the girls rejected him, they wouldn't put him on blast like this. They wouldn't. They would not even put him on blast. But because he's fat, um, you know, because he's fat, not in shape, not good looking enough, all of a sudden, all these women now want to come out and say he's a scumbag. Right? So this is the thing that you you, you fellas need to understand. All you Captain Saber hoes, you white knights, you tell me, how do you guys feel now? How do you feel now by defending a woman who tried to extort the man who allegedly, or not allegedly, who made sexual harassment um, claims or charges against him? How do you feel defending her now? You see why um, I'm very skeptical about these social justice campaigns? Like, I'm very skeptical. Because when people get exposed for certain things, it's not based on ethics. It's based on a hidden agenda. In her case, like I don't know why she did it. Maybe she did it because she wanted more money. Maybe because she, she could get the $6 million or the $3 million. She just wanted to expose him. She didn't do it because, oh, I want to help women. No, it wasn't based on that. So this whole campaign against Harvey Weinstein is a joke. Let me know what you think. Peace.